There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Run. Big one. Run. Run? Yeah, run. Wow. Number two. Intense intercept of significant flash flood and debris flow after dark down Last Chance Creek in southern Utah on July 13th. Woo! Uh, twice as large as I anticipated. That was yeah. amazing! This is Extreme Meteorologist Reed Timmer. Ahead of a flash flood that is coming down the canyon here. Up. Number one, substantial flash flood and debris flow down Johnson Canyon in southern Utah, just east of Kanab. Oh, wow. Wow. Number nine, flash flood warning, Wawib Creek in southern Utah, just outside of Big Water, July 15th. Number six, flash flood down the Perea River Basin, also on July 14th. <laughs> there it is. Nice. Number four, flash flood and debris flow down Hermosa Creek, Colorado on July 17th. Mudslides would close the highway just to the north of Hermosa. Got it. Yeah, you can smell it coming again. Many of these dangerous debris flows and flash floods will emanate from burn scars of significant wildfires that happened the previous fall or even years in advance. These wildfires will destroy vegetation and expose debris to be carried away by floodwaters. The debris gradually piles up on the slower moving debris plug on the front edge of the flash flood and then will flow down dry creeks and riverbeds and can even be life threatening for campers or even structures that are located within the flood zone. Here is my coverage from the Cal Wood Fire northwest of Boulder last fall. This burn scar is definitely being monitored today with monsoonal thunderstorms expected to erupt across the Colorado foothills by afternoon. I'm also monitoring the East Troublesome Fire for a debris flow down the creek on the south side of Rocky Mountain National Park. Other burn scars have also been producing debris flows and mudslides throughout western Colorado and other locations in the southwestern U.S. I'm just to the northwest of the boulder. Uh, 
Colorado area, and this is right in the Colorado foothills. This fire is the first one just to the east of the mountains here, the front range, and there's a big concern with a cold front coming in from the north. If winds shift off to a northerly direction, it's going to be a dry, cold frontal passage, and once those winds shift, this uh, fire could easily come down the canyon, and that's why there's been mandatory evacuations up and down the canyon here, left-hand canyon road uh, to the northwest of Boulder. Uh, this fire is a big concern because it's to the northwest of populated areas. This footage shows the massive Cal Wood Fire burn scar to the northwest of Boulder. You can see how much of the vegetation has been burned away, exposing rock, ash, debris, and charred wood as potential to be carried away by floodwaters. If a thunderstorm develops over a burn scar such as this and dumps rainfall in excess of 0.75 inches of rain in an hour, then a dangerous debris plug or flash flood is likely.